so glad that you're back. You survived Module 2 and you're ready to thrive on through Module 3. Hopefully by now you're starting to feel like quite a dyslexia expert yourself. Module 3 is going to focus on the International Dyslexia Association Standard D, which is the Interpretation and Administration of Assessment for Planning Instruction. This is a very important uh, topic and a very important module because Assessment is really an information gathering process where it's very important that you ask the right questions in order to get the information that you need to make critical decisions that will affect a student's life. So you'll read an introduction to assessment and then you'll also read to apply the components of the definition of dyslexia and finding out how those have implications for assessment. For example, what assessment should be used to answer this question? Is a child dyslexic? You'll take a look at some of those um, very typical assessments that would be used to determine the answer to that question and also how the components of the definition of dyslexia really play into our assessment strategy. It's very important. Then you'll be reading about the different types of assessments, um, the types of data that they produce, and the purpose for each of these assessments. And um, this may be a review for you if you've taken an assessment class recently, um, and again, read through whatever um, is new to you, information that you might need a refresher on. Um, if it's something that you feel very confident in, then skim and scan. You'll also be finding out how important early identification really is for students. Um, you'll be reading to find out uh, how to tell if the student has just experienced a developmental delay or is it that the student is actually um, being affected by a learning disability? How do we know? And then you'll be doing a footprint. Your first one for this module is going to be a written assessment where I'd like you to apply what you read regarding the definition of dyslexia and its implications on assessment to talk about um, how that will affect your assessment strategy. How does that knowledge affect um, what assessments you're going to use? I'd like you to think about what assessments you will use to obtain the information that you need in order to make effective instructional decisions for your students. Why will you choose these particular assessments and how will you use the data to benefit your student? So in that discussion or in that written assignment, I believe that, again, it's a great way to kind of think about your practice, what your strategy for assessment is and, and why you plan to do it that way. And then we'll also have a discussion going along with this module where I'd like you to think about an assessment that you currently use or one that you've learned about from this course that you intend to implement and talk about what type of assessment it is, what area it provides information on, and this may be an area of literacy, or maybe it's an, a piece of, inf it'll give you information about the student uh, as a person, like what motivates them, um, what is their self-image, that type of thing. Uh, give a specific example of how you use the information gained from this particular assessment to guide your instruction. What will you do with it? Um, and again, you'll be posting your reply, keeping those points in mind, and then after you post your reply, I'd like you to also respond to, uh, to other people's comments, again, so that we can um, all share this information on assessment and leave with more tools in our tool belt than we had um, when we came in that will help us to guide instruction for our students effectively. All right, good luck, thank you, and I will see you again soon.